even when I was a teenager, my little brother used to say, Ellen, you're the most stubborn person I ever met. And in a way, that's the way I am. You know, people tell me, you know, you've got this and you can't do this and you can't do that. And it's like, screw you. <laughs> yeah. How did writing this book transform you? I know as, as a reader, and certainly other readers I've talked to, mm -hmm. the effect it has for them, but what effect did it have on you, the process of writing it as you well know, as the publication? People say, how could you, wasn't it very painful to do it? And, and you know, sort of with trauma, there are two responses. And here's an example that's uh, much more exact, extreme. You know, people who've been Holocaust survivors, some of them want to go back to the scene of the crime and, and see the camps, and some of them want to stay as far away as possible. And I think doing the book wasn't that difficult, and in fact taught me lots of things that I hadn't really seen before. Um, and it was it was cathartic, actually. A lot of people with psychosis don't remember the events. You know, they have amnesia, and I say I've never been so lucky. <laughs> Unfortunately, I remember all the details, all the gory details. And I think I think the book appeals to a lot of people who have no mental health issues because everybody has a struggle, yeah. some struggle or other. Did its publication bring what you thought it would bring? Oh, I was very surprised at the response, that there was such a positive response. You know, I, I've gotten so many emails, it's, it's sort of a burden to tell you the truth, um, because I have so much other work as well, but just a lot of emails in different categories. The, the main one is, you know, Ellen, you know, you tell a story of hope, either I or my family member or whatever, you know, this really is important to us to hear that. Second category, uh, uh, my spouse, my child, my brother, my sister won't take medication. What should I do? And Will says I shouldn't say this, but I say that uh, if I could figure that out, I'd be the second schizophrenic with a Nobel. <laughs> the funniest email I got was from a guy who says, uh, uh, Ellen or Professor Sachs, I can't remember. You and your doctors are actually wrong. You are a space alien, and the medication is poison. <laughs> <laughs> Disappearing riddles in the sky The stars are brighter than disappearing riddles in the sky I have a friend who has schizophrenia who's a psychologist in uh, Ohio and when anyone says nuts he says please don't use the n-word around me <laughs>